and welcome back to my channel. You made it again. Yes. Well, astrology, such an essential and amazing part of human life, and you can learn a lot from it. Well, for today's video, I'm going to dissect some parts of my zodiac chart. But what wouldn't I be with my little book of astrology? It's very convenient to have it and very uh, handy to know some of your astrology signs and what they mean and what kind of correlation they have with each other and what kind of planetary settlements they have with and how they have any correlation with you as a person. So that's all up to me to decide if it's accurate or not so I'm going to jump right into it and disclose some of my zodiac signs chart the people who might know me my sun sign is a Scorpio if you want to know what a sun sign is in a general form here is the summary of it your sun sign character and what it means earth makes one revolution of the sun each year and by doing so the sun spends approximately one month in each of the zodiac signs. The signs that the sun was transiting at the time of your birth is known as your sun sign. Astrology based on your sun sign is a generalized outline of your individual astrological characteristics. But because the sun sign is the most influential of the essential objects in your horoscope, you can learn a great deal about yourself from this information alone. To gain a true and complete picture of your real character, you must synthesize the sun's influence with that of all the other planets in your horoscope. And now I'm going to go with the meaning of what my sun sign actually means to me. I'm a Scorpio, remember that. So as you guys might know, I was born on November 16, 1994. With this is a general summary of my sun sign. Scorpio people draw from deep pools of emotional and physical energy and need to find a positive outlet for their intense feelings. Hmm, true, little, that's why I'm making videos. It's for me to be expressive, for me to be authentic, so that's accurate. Scorpios don't waste their resources on preparies, but they can become obsessive collectors. I have a beanie collection, does that count? At work, Scorpios push themselves and enjoy a challenge. The more daunting, the better. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually true. Maybe. I like to challenge myself a little and go out of my comfort zone a little and experience new things and new challenges that I face in life. And that, that's the beauty of living, you know? It's about evolving. Expand your capabilities and abilities to be open to experience new things. That's what it's all about. So that's great. Scorpios can be secretive, but also very rewarding romantic partners. I'm not sure whether I I can be secretive? Being secretive in general? I don't know. Maybe it's just how you perceive it. But on the rewarding and romantic partner, never had a partner before in my life, it can be difficult to hide their constant scrutiny, which can be a little on the heavy side. But if you have a Scorpio stress, you'll have a deeply intuitive, insightful, and loyal partner or friend. Yes, that's true. I'm very loyal to the people I care about, and I love them unconditionally. I never like experienced love before on a deeper level that's spiritual or on an emotional level first because I value the emotional the emotional connection first with a person I take priority in that that I emotionally connect with someone first in order for me to have like a relationship to blossom from it you know nowadays currently it's very difficult to find someone who's genuinely interested in you and takes value in you or share the same morals and values that you might have so that can be very difficult at times if you feel like a little lonely or emotionally closed off because for me I I tend to search connections with persons that I can emotionally connect with them first I search connections on a deeper and emotional level with people first whether I ever date someone or have a relationship with so that's kind of true in some kind of way but what benefits Scorpio most is to let down their defenses and accept that they too can be vulnerable. I accept that I'm vulnerable. I'm not I'm not afraid to be vulnerable at times because as every human being, we're all vulnerable in some kind of way. And, and in that stage, we're all interconnected. We might not experience the same thing as another person, but we're all interconnected and we all face problems 
in a level that it's similar to another person, you know? It goes really deeper than on an emotional level. It goes to a spiritual level when it comes to that matter, so yeah. Maybe. But yeah, but the general synopsis of me being a Scorpio as as a inner core personality Scorpio is that, that it's quite accurate. Some things are inaccurate at some perceptions that I have of me being a Scorpio. So I'm really excited to learn more about myself and have this book with me. So that's really, that's really handy to know more about myself, discover more about myself so I can evolve as an individual human being who I'm supposed to become. That's the beauty of life, evolving. So right now, on to my moon sign. For the ones who don't know what your moon sign is, for the ones who don't know what my moon sign is, it's a Taurus. Where is my moon sign? What actually a moon sign mean and what it means in general? Your moon sign refers to the astrological sign the moon was traveling through at the time you were born. The moon takes two and a half days to travel each sign of the zodiac. Roughly one month to make a complete cycle. The moon's changeable reflective nature mirrors our own instinctual and emotional responses through its different phases and conditions. Understanding your moon sign is vitally important because it provides the key to your emotional nature. You can find your moon sign from looking at your date of birth and planetary ephemeris. So now we know what actually a moon sign is, we can go on to my my next sign it's a Taurus what does it mean if I'm moon in Taurus moon in Taurus people need to feel secure they are generally calm serene people whose immediate reaction tend to be slow but once they have made up their mind about something or someone it's almost impossible to convince them to change their opinion maybe it depends in the situation that I'm in but yeah I'm mostly of all stubborn in the things that I believe in and I'd like to acknowledge that to others if they have the empathy to understand and see it from both sides everything is okay then I don't push my perception away just because other people might say so or other people think differently of me because of that I don't push my own perception away so that would actually be inauthentic and I don't want that I just want to be authentic all of the time but I'm going to explain further these patient people don't rush headlong into anything they are careful planners who take other people's feeling seriously and they like to follow a conventional path when it comes to courting generally agreeing that a traditional approach to love is the right path well well when it comes to love I don't know what happened I don't know what happened throughout my life to not receiving any love I don't know what happened I don't know what it is but I just go with the flow that's great so that's the explanation towards my moon sign but next, I'm going on to my rising sign, and that's Leo. First, I'm going to explain what a rising sign, or AKA your ascendant is. If your sun sign is your core personality, your rising sign is your own self-image or the personality you choose to present to the world. Usually, when you meet someone at a party, you first encounter their rising sign because that's the side of their personality they're most comfortable to project. Hmm, didn't know that. That's handy to know that now. As you get to know someone better, you peel back late, starting from the outer shell of the rising sign through the core characteristic of your sun sign, who you really are, through your emotional center, your moon sign, and so on through each planetary layer. Your rising sign is the filter through which your personality is expressed. The first impression you give to others is the mask you choose to wear. Your rising sign is a default position and describes how you deal with life challenges. Most people identify more strongly with their rising sign than they do with their sun sign. Well, I didn't know that. Hmm, that's new. Cool. Your rising sign is a point in your birth chart where you meet the world and therefore is also describes your physical appearance too. So my rising sign is a Leo. So what it means to be a Leo in your rising or ascendant? You'll probably be able to identify with a person with a Leo ascendant by the crowd of people gathered around them laughing and hanging on their every word. Leo rises are born entertainers. I, I can be an entertainer but I'm definitely not a show off. I don't know. So when faced with new people or circumstances, Leo rising's natural instincts 
or to take control of the situation. I'm actually thinking about me taking control of the situation. I, I once took control of, of a project within school. I'm good at organizing. I take credit for my organizing skills here because I am a good organizer. So that's true, that's accurate. Maybe I can think of myself as a leader but I don't necessarily give orders to others. I can do that if I adapt a little and change a little of my behavior. Then I might then I might lead or can have the opportunity to lead. Yes. I'm still open to the question of that I can lead something. But my organizing skills are impeccable. I give myself credit for that. So that's great. See, they have excellent organization skills, which can at times come across as pushy. Okay, if I'm ever pushy, Please correct me on my behavior if that is But we are right hate to be thought of badly There are people pleasers at heart And they need to be admired and approved of I don't necessarily need confirmation by someone I think it's more about the curiosity of what other people think It's merely about the curiosity for me Of what might other people think I don't care about it if you think that I'm ugly. Obviously, I care about the more positive side of things because yeah, everyone deserves to be happy and deserves to be on that higher level of vibration that brings you positivity and brings you happiness, of course. But I don't necessarily need confirmation by others to be valued upon. Leo rising people need to form a good opinion of themselves before seeking it elsewhere. That's true. I seek confirmation about myself first before I go elsewhere and get their opinion because overall it's about curiosity that I have uh, upon others to give me a second opinion about that or find relatable options to myself well I think the overall conclusion of my Leo rising is that it's some things are some factors are inaccurate some things are accurate of my own perception of my own personality of course and I think it's very convenient for me to know about those things so I can and my own emotions and own feelings and thoughts together to have a general knowledge about who I am as a person. So that's great. That's awesome. This is so weird. I have so many Scorpio placements. I have it all listed down. Now, I don't know if you can see this. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Scorpio, Leo. Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, Capricorn, and Scorpio. I have six placements in Scorpio. I'm talking about an intense person here, then I might be the most intense person of it all. No, we're not going to do that, honey. Next thing, my Mercury sign is Scorpio. This would be a general explanation if you have your Mercury sign in a water sign, earth sign, fire sign, or air sign. Here's like the general summary of Mercury in Scorpio, a Mercury in water signs, which is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Mercury water signs are intuitive, insightful, and fluid. They have good memories and can see past what's been said to what's actually meant. I'm very intuitive as a person. I'm very intuitive and I'm very like insightful when it comes to astrology and the esoteric and everything about that. I'm very interested in that and piques my curiosity here. So that's true. Well, the general meaning of mercury in the water signs of for me it's in my perception it's accurate so do I believe okay next sign is Venus sign and you know you know the goddess Venus it stands for love stands for compassion stands for intensity stands for pure unconditional love so I'm going to give a little explanation what it means to have Venus in Scorpio because that's what I have I'm going to explain to you what a Venus in Scorpio or in any water sign for that matter means. Water sign Venus people love deeply and intensely. They long for a meaningful connection on an emotional level and searching for their true love can be an all-consuming desire. That's really accurate. That's what I mean! That's what I mean! I love deeply and intensely through emotional connections! Bang! That's right! Spot on! Bang! But that's spot on! That's so accurate! Yeah, I can totally resonate with that. Well, in my perception, I totally resonate with that. Yeah. Now, on to my last sign and placement is Mars. And I have Mars in Leo. I have so many water signs and the fire signs in my chart. How? Mars is actually known for the action planet. It's how we approach things 
and how we get what we desire. So that's like a little summary of what the Mars planet actually means by it. Now I'm going to disclose the general meaning of what it means what Mars in a Leo or fire sign. Mars in fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Mars is happiest in the fire signs where it feels naturally energized and powerful. Mars fire signs have natural reserves of willpower, energy, and enthusiasm to help them reach their goals and make their mark on the world. Yeah! I'm very determined in the things and the actions that I'm doing right now and I'm very passionate about that. So that's true, that's accurate. I'm really getting to know more about myself each and every day and that's so beautiful. I'm loving life again here so that's really interesting. Wow, this is really cool. I generally want to make a positive impact upon the world. In my other and previous videos, I explained everything about positivity, how I perceive the world and how I want to reflect reflect positivity upon others so yeah that's what I basically want to do and mark my action upon that so that's true and it's so accurate man this is really interesting and really really piqued my curiosity to learn further and what my other astrological sign actually means by that it's really interesting to know all the factors and all the facets of the astrology and planetary placements if you want this book it's very interesting if you want to know more about your astrology what your sun moon and rising sign is it is really convenient to know about what your astrology and what your placements are in the astrology. If you want to have like an in-depth analysis or like an overview of an in-depth analysis of your astrology sign, I recommend you to check out this book. It's The Little Book of Astrology by Marianne Williamson. You can check it out if you want. But yeah, it's interesting to know about the facets of astrology overall and I'm really interested into that. Maybe I want to do something more with that in the future and I want to expand more about my knowledge into astrology because I'm a very, very intuitive person and I'd like to have myself educated upon that subject. But well, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and if you want to join the motion, subscribe to my channel if you want to and also turn on your post notifications to get notified every time I upload a new video. That would be incredible if you do that. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you all have a great day. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.